All right, guys, so you've seen this poster that both Jack Stan and I are signing all of them for you guys on the website. We recently added the Leroy and the Elko posters, sold a ton of those. Those are all signed by me. No extra charge, but then check this out. We also got the Jack Stan wheelie poster. Gotta have it. And that one's gonna be signed by Mr. Jack Stan himself. So James not only crushed a lot of stuff on that pass, you know, now he's got a poster to prove it. Yep. Look at that, you get a nice shot. You can read his oil filter part number actually if you look even closer you can see there's ratchet straps <laughs> to limit the front end to limit the front end so what a wheelie, and uh here it is the wheelie in. and so, then it did a wheelie i feel like we got the best set of posters right here they are fresh let us know what you guys want next i mean we could literally do any car in the fleet or any picture you guys like we covered the bases though already we this got is... both cars wheeling in we yeah. got one parachute picture, one burnout picture. These so what do you guys really want next? If you've noticed, the only two cars that wheelie in the fleet have James' signature on them. Yeah. That might be the uh, reason. This may or may not have been my fault. This definitely was 100% my <laughs> fault. We didn't include the posters in the merch shop because they were already selling like crazy, but we just got more in stock. So now those are available. Uh, the other deal is we sold most of the shirts, the new shirts from the drop, but we have a ton of shirts from our old drops and things like that like we got the vintage cleese mcfarland giraffe racing shirt and like the hell yeah brother turbo shirt we have a ton of these shirts so what we did is we set up a bogo 30 so buy one shirt you get another shirt 30 percent off and we also have free shipping on orders over 50 bucks so this is probably the best deal we've ever had on the website right now we're trying to clear out a bunch of old inventory we want to get a bunch of new stuff in for our next drop next month so you guys grab it after the video baldeagle.com you know where to go new posters deals on shirts Get them after the video. Thanks. True, buddy. Brother. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Far on YouTube channel. Guys, here's the deal. We got the boat challenge. It's starting up. So I wanted to make it even so that we all have cars that can be part of the car challenge. So we got three Crown Vicks with three hitches on them. Because, you know, some of these challenges, it's already running, George. What are you doing? Well, maybe this one's not good anymore. Starter is just the spinning away. Isn't it running? It's Tiger. running, dude. Oh, dang. <laughs> what the hell are you doing, freezer burn? <laughs> this one don't got the exhaust cut. We got to do that. Oh, my God. What an idiot, dude. Some of these challenges. Dude, stop. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so some of these challenges. I have a feeling that the trailers are going to be coming in contact with the cars, so I didn't want to be using our trucks. So we got three Crown Vicks that have been used in the Freedom 500s and Lay Mullets that we had sitting over there waiting for a project like this. Threw the hitches on them. Now everyone's got an even playing field when it comes down to the on-road racing, backup challenges, things like that. All right, early in the morning out here at the Freedom Factory, what I'm doing today, I'm picking out our Crown Vicks for the boat race. Now, by this time, you all know that we are pulling them with Crown Victorias. I know, not really made for towing. Probably if you ask Cleeter, he'll give you a different answer, but I am getting us three perfectly equal Crown Victorias. I'm going from the end of the road to this uh, second trash can right here. And uh, I got three that are at 50 mile an hour. One of them's at 52, so she's running too good. She's going to the side. So I was gonna try to show you how I'm uh, speed testing them but it's a little complicated to look at the trash can, look at 50. I don't want you guys to be like, oh, he let out earlier. You let out later, this, that, and the other. So just gonna have to take my word for it. There's the bolt-on hitch. All we had to do, drill two holes in the frame rail over here, two over there, run this little uh, fish, fish wire through. It kind of threads onto the bolt and port like that. And then uh, pull it through to the hole. I'll uh, slap it up there and show you what it looks like. There we go. Four bolts, two over here, two over there. We got us a Crown Vic with a good old heavy duty trailer hitch. So we ready to pull some boats. Yeah, James, solve this puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> Tire chocks with a rope on them, not your deal. I didn't see the rope was twisted on that one set. I'm I'm confused. I'm surprised you haven't cut the rope on them. Not a big helicopter airplane guy, you know? Oh yeah, That's no. Those are four not airplanes. A guy. Yeah, more of a live life dangerous yeah. yeah hey uh georgie i saw you guys brought the nightmare in yeah i heard y'all got 20 dollars left in the budget left, dude. oh my gosh i still got zero dollars left in my budget so you're doing pretty good guys we got people coming out to do quotes for our road 
We got like three quotes coming in hot on the asphalt for the road. <laughs> Window work? You won't do a burnout, dude. We got it. You won't do it. Alright, that's actually a pretty good ripper right there. All three dead even. Really? Alright, I'll take him to the shop. Oh my god. It's not gonna be that fair because that one doesn't have a driver's side mirror, so. <laughs> Anyone got a three-sided coin? Hey, Jackson, come here. We gotta decide who's winning these cars. I'll, I'll think of a number, and then I'll three guess it. <laughs> <laughs> Freezer burn? Come on now, <laughs> guys. Uh, uh, George's new street name is Freezer Burn. We catch him out racing. Oh, there it is. Dang it. It's on video oh. now. <laughs> it's official. I'll flip call it. In you calling it? Yeah. All right. Call it in the air. You got to right, call it in the air. You can't call it on my All finger. right. Do it, baby. Do it, baby. Tails. Uh, oh, it's Tails. <gasps> which yes, which car know. are you taking? Wait, how does it work? Yeah, I thought if he's yeah, first. Yeah, now you two got to flip. Oh. No, now he's, you he's two winning. flip. He's winning. <laughs> Now you two gotta flip. If he beats you, he gets first pick. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, tails. Tails, it is. Oh my god! Got first pick. All right, now, George, you got first we pick. Flip. Let's see who's losers, second and third. You know, yeah. yeah. All right. Whoever okay. wins this gets second. You get a loser. All right, you call it in the air. Heads. Our team oh, tails again. Tails again. All right, I'm oh, second. I get what's left. Okay. All right, quarter. Which car are you picking, George? Dang, I should have paid closer attention. We'll take uh, we'll take the one with no cake in it. Ah, that's sure the one. The one, hey, the one that you just kicked the mirror off of? Yeah, black mirror's coming off too. Yeah, you idiot! Oh, kick the mirror off his own <laughs> car, dude. It's gotta be fair. All right, um, let me take a gander in here. Oof, it's a little rough. I don't think it's, this car's as wrecked as Wilkie's though. Oof. <laughs> Actually, it is kind of wrecked up. <laughs> um, tires? Run the same time the homemade, uh, and the AC works in this one, Jackson? Ice, Ice cold? Let me take a look at this one real quick. Hmm. Oh, AC blows cold in this dog, dude. I don't know what to do. This I'm really... Very, the pink stripe would go good with the Flamingo. That's true. Okay. I'm going with the Wilkie Mobile. So, James... That's your unit. George, why'd you have to kick our mirrors off, dude? It's gotta be fair, man. It's gotta, they all gotta be equal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, if you guys have any other ideas for the boat challenge, now is your time to say them because it's going down. We got our cars, we have three equal cars. And uh, speak now or forever hold your peace. Let's see if I can push George's off into the bushes since he backed into mine. Dude, the roll bar is so annoying. It's <laughs> a weird place to park. I know. I don't know why George would park all the way out there. I started getting stuck. Tell you what, though, these nittos, dude, they'll get you out of any situation. 71,000 miles on this beat. I know. You actually have a pretty good one. Yeah. George's is, seems the most problematic, and it's yeah. stock. I mean, he didn't want to start over there. His hasn't even been in the race. Oh, yeah. <laughs> His wouldn't even start. All right, so the Flamingo's ready. The Nightmare's here. How's your jet boat? Is it good? All right. Well, guys, got to make sure the old mud truck's going to be good to go for its new owner. Golly, she's a spicer still. 
take her out the front lot. I want to open it up, make sure it's a hundred percent. Need some brakes, that's for sure. Need some brake pads, you know. Down, baby. Oh, brick. You're gonna miss her, that's for sure. I'm gonna miss them big old tires. I usually ride with this on like two or three. This is it on five, just so you can see that it does work and rip. So, I don't know. It's just if you have it on like two or three, you can just hold her wide open all the time. On five, I get a little worried about her, but let me bog it for you one time. Fire me up. You're gonna love this thing, dude. All right, listen, brother, I'm gonna be honest. There's some mud in here that I left. It's from Florida. It's Florida mud, so you enjoy that, but I know you're worried about the steering, so just give you an example. I mean, I'm just idling. Now we're full lock right. This steer's pretty good. Oh, I also just got this freaking carbon hood scoop or hood exit. A little piss. I didn't even get a bogget with that, so you enjoy it. mud truck it's been a good little unit but uh it sits around a lot so i want to get rid of it man it's just one of those things that just sits and and is rotting and can go to someone who will use it so the, the new owner you know sounds like he's definitely going to be rowdy with it i don't want to give you guys too many details yet but uh it's off, it's off to be in good hands that's all i can say what do you think about the mud truck leaving dude tough break i mean you bought it, we ran over a shed. You went mud in like twice. Uh, paid it, three it's, times. Paid its rent. <laughs> yeah, I guess, yeah. Time I mean, to go. <laughs> drift nights, you know, I did pretty good at the drift nights, but uh, that's it. Oh, you know what? The new owner wanted me to uh, do something. Oh. The new owner asked me to do something for him. Oh, so nice. Man. Well, I mean, it's by should his. We, should, we, should we swap it with white trashes real quick? Give him an already beat up one. I don't know if I can do it. It's gonna take everything in me to just <laughs> destroy a nice piece of. That is a nice tailgate. <laughs> it's a nice tailgate. <laughs> should I do it? You gotta. I mean, he did ask me to. do I it. I mean, you either gotta do it or you gotta keep the truck. One or the yeah, other. Yeah, watch him back out on the deal after this, dude. I'm gonna be pissed. Ooh. That's all I can do. That's all I can handle, dude. That's that's a good. Ooh. Yeah. Now it's got a big. <laughs> all right, guys. We'll be seeing this thing later. It was a great truck, you know. Got it for a good deal. Sold it for a good deal, and I think the new owner's gonna have a lot of fun with it. Never once gave me an issue, so. There she is, loaded up, on the way to the new owner. We'll see it. Uh, I think we'll see it on YouTube once or twice. Just like that. And just a quick update on these two guys. We got engines coming back for them, all right? Texas Speed has Ruby and Leroy's engines, but they're coming back. I'm really, really hoping to have at least Leroy's engine back in him before we go to LS Fest, but we will see. Waiting on parts, man.